Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to put Channel Z in your home space. Um, it's not that hard. And uh, once you have it in there, you can listen to random music videos. Every time you come into your home space, you'll be listening to a different music video. You can also set it up so that it starts from the beginning of the playlist, but who finds that interesting, you know? But I'm only going to show you how to set it up so that it just plays random videos. And maybe in another tutorial I'll show you how to um, how to uh, use Channel Z to get uh, your own music videos into a playlist on Channel Z. Okay, here we go. Um, pop it in. Okay. Um, this is what you do. Uh, you go to your web browser, you open it up, and uh, you type in to the address bar, c3z.me, hit enter, and uh, make sure Oculus modes are off or on, it doesn't matter, and uh, then go find some music content, let's say... 80s uh, UK charts so you can then hit hands off mode turn down the volume because I have to do that because uh, otherwise YouTube will catch me for uh, copyright content and uh, then I select this uh, everything before the ampersand the W um, copy that into my copy buffer uh, then I open up my alt space um, browser and bring me in to my main room and I will skip um, configuring the web browser I'll just let it get into the to the main alt space uh, to, to my alt space room I already got it set up but you can set one up you know how to place things in 3d space on your world um, it's easy you just uh, go into the space editor and you unlock the uh, the you uh, well let's just do it for the heck of it go to basics browser type in put in your URL um, add to it uh, V scale equals 1.2 so it's just a little bit loud that sets the volume scale to about 1.2 whatever the playlist is set at and uh, then I hit confirm and it creates a little web browser right here which is playing some music content in it and uh, then I'll go ahead and uh, move that I'll, I'll get out of the space editor and go ahead and move my video content to where I want it to be. Um, I use the cursor keys uh, in uh, in uh, PC mode to arrange the put the video kind of in the proximate location where I want it to put, and then I move to the side. Well, I, I picked some spot to move to and uh, it, you can see it's entirely too small so I have to go in the space editor and adjust the size I set the scale to 30 hit confirm and now it's plenty big and I arrange the range of the screen uh, yeah, put the I'll put the screen back a little further and then uh, uh, and oh whoa it's not where I wanted to go come on guys come on over here over there come on oh And uh, then you can, uh, if you want to, you can double click on it. And that should uh, 
let you orient it. Let me, let me double click on it. Come on. Okay, whatever. Go ahead and into the edit buttons, type in uh, position, make it about um, negative 30. Then I'll push it back some, bring it up a bit, let's say 12, and uh, then adjust the this to about 270, and then hit confirm, and that uh, wasn't good enough. Let's uh, adjust it to 300, confirm. That's getting better. How about 320? Confirm. Okay, that looks better. Bring it down a little bit. Down to 11.75. Confirm. How about 11.25? Confirm. That's too far. Whoops. How did it get it to be down that far? Oh, I did I didn't do it right. Eleven point two five. Confirm. Okay, now um I have to make one more adjustment. I have to go into the and fix this the width and height, set it B scale one point two and confirm. It will reset and I'll set the thing to the right size. Then I can back up from my video. So I got this huge movie screen. Every time I come into my space, I see this monstrous movie screen of a music video player. And, uh, and uh, it's going to be playing music. Uh, but there's still one more thing I have to do. I forgot. You have to lock the thing in place. Turn it off in edit mode. Lock the thing in place. And now it's saved. And if you want to go, if you want to save multiples of these, if you want to configure multiple of these, you hit create snapshot. Pop in there um, 80s UK music videos. Confirm. And what that does is it saves your space. And uh, then if you change it to something else, like if you want to put in there modern music videos, you can put that in. And um, then it'll be playing those once you come into your space. And you can switch between them uh, using those snapshots. And uh, then that's it. That's, you've got your music videos. Uh, it's now playing Mike and the Mechanics. And next time I come into this, if it's shortly after this, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. So it plays like a television set does. It's as if it was broadcasting video. And if somebody comes in at a later uh, time and you're still here, um, it, well, it doesn't even matter. You're going to see the same video content. If both of you guys come in at the same time, you're going to see the same video content. If one guy has been here for an hour and another guy comes in, he's going to see the same content, the guy that's been seeing it for an hour. So you never watch the playlist from the beginning. You're watching it as if it was television. You it drops you right into the playlist like if it was a perpetual broadcast. And that's the attraction to it. You're always you're not seeing the playlist from the beginning. You're not having to specify which music you're going to listen to. Um, it's just already there. And if you don't like this, you can switch to another channel. Or you can create your own Channel Z channel, which I'll reveal later in another tutorial. So there you go. Enjoy.